March 28, 2024. I'm Walesha, and today's top story highlights our track team as their season heats up. Good morning, Eagles. Uh, glad to report that we are back as a track team. Uh, we are enjoying the fruits of our labor. Uh, we just had our first meet on this past Saturday in Tupelo. Uh, we took our guys and our 4x100 team uh, re- reported a uh, third place finish. Uh, we're, t- we're tightening some things up and uh, hopefully we'll do well in district. Uh, we had three guys that placed uh, individually in events uh, and PR'd in those events as well. Uh, Floyd Senegal uh, ran a 10.76 in the 100 meters. Uh, Lance McGowan placed second in the 400 meters. He ran a 49.6 and Tyree Lasur ran a 49.8. Uh, which placed him in third in the 400. Which both of those guys that were mentioned last are about to break the school record. So if you see either one of those fellows, Floyd has already broken the school record and you got two more behind him getting ready to break one. So uh, tell those guys congratulations and thank you. We sat down with Roman late last week to chat about the season. We're here with Roman to talk about track. Tell us about the track team. So the track team this year, we got a track meet coming up at Tupelo this Saturday. Um, I feel like we're gonna do good. You know, we got a lot of new members and we got a lot of returning people coming back. So, um, you know, we've been, work- we've been working hard ever since, you know, November, you know, trying to prepare for the season. What track events do you run? Uh, I run the Open 100, which is a straight shot from the start to the finish line. Uh, and then I run the 4x1, which is a relay team of where we have four group of guys or girls that can run the 100 meters. And it's like a, a it's kind of like a tag team. You know? And then I also, I possibly, I'm an alternate for the 4x2, which is 200s and for the relay. And then I do long jump as well, is where you run from a certain spot and then jump into a sand. What are the challenges you think the team will face? I feel like some of the biggest challenges that we'll face is, you know, just the new people that's coming along with us, you know, trying to figure out what's their catch and, you know, what they trying to actually do as a as an individual and trying to work into their spot as a team, you know, and working together as a team, putting everybody, there you go, personal agendas to the side and you just coming together as a team. When did you become interested in track? So, crazy story. Uh, I was I was playing basketball in seventh grade for the team, and Coach O'Neill he had came up to me. He was just like, "Man, I think you should run track." So I went out there, you know saying, "Got out with the guys, and we just started running track just like that." I ain't even have no idea or no interest in it until Coach O'Neill. So shout out to Coach O'Neill. What strengths do you believe you have as an athlete? Uh, I feel like the strengths that I got is just natural. I was I was I was always naturally fast. Um, 
Also, a big shout out to my pops. He always wake me up in the morning and get me up. You know, we'll go ride bicycles or go running out in the morning or like whenever he get off work. And that's, you know, that's where I got my abilities from. Do you have any hobbies outside of running track? Yeah, so right now I have my own clothing brand. I've been running it for about two and a half, three years now. So it's called Certified Designs. You know, I sell from pants, clothes, uh, pants, hoodies, accessories, all that, you know, yeah. What do you believe the greatest challenge athletes face? Uh, I feel like the greatest challenge that athletes face are adversity and trying to accomplish the big things that we might have, like going through obstacles or, you know, racial diversity or, you know, um, just just being able to overcome other people who's better than you. What would you say your greatest accomplishment in life has been so far? Uh, I feel like my greatest accomplishment has been able to run a clothing brand by myself. Of course, I have the help of my uh, older brother, but I feel like for these past three years, I've been running it by myself and it's grown exponentially. What's your favorite school subject? Uh, I love history. History is one of my big things that I love. I love going back in time, you know, trying to learn what happened and to help better understand why the world works the way it works. How do you prepare for track meets? Do you have a strategy? Uh, I prepare for track meets to be, um, well, gotta have me a snack. If I don't have me a snack, it's over with. I'm not, I'm not running. Um, preferably, I would have banana bread and a Sprite. If you know me, I love Sprites uh, or Calypso. Calypso are great. A strawberry, a strawberry lemon a Calypso. But uh, we stretch. We got our own stretch routines for the team. Uh, we'll do those and um, you know, pray to God, make sure He covers me and make sure I don't pull anything or have any energies. And then I just got there and run and do my thing. What's the best advice you've gained from your coaches? Ooh, you say coaches. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start off with Coach O'Neal. Uh, I feel like the best advice that he gave me was to stop being like, stop being so scared and just go out there and run. Like, of course, you're gonna miss up because my first time running, he was like, I was kind of nervous, or whatever, but he was like, just go out there and do your thing. We've been working hard for it. And then, uh, big shout out to Coach Thompson, Coach Q. He, uh, he was my first, he was my first basketball coach from high school and my first track coach in high school. So he, I feel like he taught me a lot of things that I know now. So it's able to better help me be a track athlete. Um, I feel like one of the best things he said was pretty much the same thing, like stop being scared. Cause you know, I'm always, I'm, I feel like I always get tense or nervous when I go into the track field. So uh, he always, you know, pushed me to be better than what I am. So big shout out to Coach Sons. What's your favorite after school snack? Uh, favorite after school snack. I feel like I have to go with banana bread, rice Krispies treat, bananas, strawberries, um, and then I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go probably a Philly cheese steak. <laughs> if you could be any athlete, who would you choose? If I could be any athlete. Uh, I probably choose like Mike Tyson or like uh, Muhammad Ali, cause like they always got that like that that fear in them or the fear that they give other people. I just like I love that, and then they're multimillionaires too. So it's like if I could be feared and be a multimillionaire, that's good. What's your best vacation memory? Uh, my best vacation memory is going to Florida. Uh, we I went with my parents down to Orlando. We just had a great time. You know, we went to the beach. Uh, we went to the beach over there by, uh, over there by, by Miami. And then we went all the way back, but I feel like that was the best vacation. What secret superpower would you like to have? Uh, secret superpower? It would be bending from, from Avatar. If I can have Aang's ability to bend and just like smash rocks into people's faces <laughs> and, just, and put things on fire, then yeah, I would love that. What's your most original excuse for not turning in your homework? Uh, that's a trick question because I always turn in my homework. <laughs> what would be the best thing about leaving home and the worst? 
Man, the best thing about leaving home, I won't have to see them people again. Uh, you know, just being just being on my own. Like, I love being on my own because I always feel like I'm an independent person. You know, uh, I got my own brand, so I've been doing that for a long time. You know, just uh, doing things like yeah, just doing things on my own. And then I think the worst part about it, I feel like leaving leaving behind what I started and then trying to start something new. Uh, like me going to Texas is one of the biggest things that I want to do. So I feel like building a new legacy or, you know, trying to start a new career over there would be the hardest part. What would you like to be doing in 10 years? Uh, I would like to be, uh, I would like to be well-rounded as a business person, as far as having my own brand, uh, starting a YouTube channel, getting, uh, and getting a lot of young people into what I love to do, which is fashion. So if I can have multiple business surrounded by fashion and, you know, helping the environment uh, and being a multimillionaire, then yeah, I love to do that in the next 10 years. This week's feature vocabulary words are latent, lethargic, and mere. Latent, existing but not yet developed or obvious, hidden, concealed. Lethargic, sluggish and apathetic. Mere, used to emphasize how small or insignificant someone or something is. are coming up April 8th through 10th in the Horn Lake Gym from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. In order to try out, you must have a completed application and attend the cheer clinic. Cost for the clinic is $25. Applications and fees can be turned in the first day of tryout clinic. You must have a current sports physical, a copy of your insurance card, and a copy of the most recent report card. Applications can be picked up in room B5 or in the Horn Lake High School Library. Good morning, students. This is Miss Jolly. I have a few last minute reminders about prom. This is a school event, so make sure you are behaving within school guidelines. Um, we don't expect any problems, but make sure you are doing that. Regular school consequences will apply if there are any issues. If you have any questions about prom, you can come find me in room E15, Ms. Johnson in room D13, or Coach Sandlin floating around the school with that snack cart. Girls basketball tryouts are just around the corner. The tryouts will be April 18th and 19th at 415 in the gym. You must have a current physical. You can get more details from Coach Parti. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch meals and athletic schedules. We we'll see you here Tuesday. Have a fantastic holiday weekend.
home Take me to the sky I, I got a good feeling 